Hello and welcome to another Unturned Weapons mod review. Today we are reviewing the ACMS Weapons mod, which has a whole bunch of weapons and a whole bunch of modularity for those weapons, with tons of different parts for that you can switch out on all the different weapons. But today in this video we will be only covering the basic versions of each of these weapons. So let's go on, let's go ahead and get over and look at our different weapons. As usual, first up we have our pistols. The MP443 Sig Saucer P2 P226R, the Tokarev, and the Chapata Rhino. The first pistol we are taking a look at is the MP443. Let's go ahead and watch that reload. Nice and quick, so let's shoot some targets with it. Let's watch that reload again now. That was a fairly o I did fairly okay there. It seems to be accurate from long and sh at long and short distances. So let's now move on to the recoil. Now we are over at the recoil stations to take a look at how bad the kick on this is. I will not be moving my mouse down at all for any of the tests on any of these weapons. So let's do let's go ahead and get into this. So you can see it pulls up and to the right and seven shots it traveled roughly one player height I'd say which is not too bad let's move on over to the spread now now over at the spread the fresh magazine let's see how tight of a uh, from this distance how tight of a thing we can pull So it has a pretty tight pattern from this distance, from that di from a, uh, that distance. We will be uh, so on. Let's move on to the next pistol. Overall, I say this one is pretty good. The next pistol we are testing is the Sig Saucer P226. Let's go ahead and take a look at that reload. It has only a sim. It's only semi-automatic. So let's get in firing with it. The iron sights on this one are not as crisp as the iron sights on the other one. It has more trouble hitting at long ranges than the other one did. Let's take a look at that reload again. I say it's still a pretty good pistol. The uh, sounds for all of these are crisp. Now let's move over to the recoil. Now we are back at the recoil to give the, uh, the P226 a recoil test. Let's go ahead and do that. For a full magazine, the recoil is pretty bad. So let's move on over to the move on over to a spread test. Now we are over at the spread testing station, so let's go ahead and fire. That, this one, I didn't, wasn't as easy for me to control, but it still did pretty good. Our third pistol is the Tokarev. It only has eight shots in it. Let's take a look at that reload animation. Once again, not a lot to it, fairly quick. Taking a look at its attachments, we only have options for magazines. So let's start shooting this.
as with all the other Ru Russian pistols that so far, this has a crisp iron sight to it, and it is fairly accurate at long ranges. So let's move on over, let's reload and move on over to the spread, to the recoil test. Now we are back at the recoil test with the Tokarev. Time to give it, time to test its metal. As a somewhat aggressive, this, as you can see, this is the recoil pattern for the Tokarev without pulling down. I have now moved back over to the spread test, so let's test, so let's do this. The Tokarev is a lot harder to control than the other two pistols that we have tested so far. And is less accurate and higher shot speed at higher speeds of shooting than the others. It is a slower pistol to fire if you want to be accurate. Last but not least for our pistols, we have the Chapata Rhino, which can take tactical which can take tactical and sight attachments. It is a six round under barreled revolver. So let's test, so we're going to do two, re so we're going to do our reload in the middle of firing. Here is the reload. That was speedy, and now for hip fire. The hip fire is, as you can tell, is not as accurate as up close. So let's move on over to that recoil test. We have now. I am now going to do the recoil test. As a the recoil veers up and to the left, as you can tell. So when you fire it, you're going to have to pull down to the right. And now for the spread. The Chapata Rhino seems to be a fairly accurate pistol overall. It has a very crisp front iron sight. As well as rear sights, which are both which were both colored, making them easier to see and line up at night. There are six SMGs in this mod, which we'll be covering: the PP1901, the PP91, the PPSH41, the MP5, the MP5SD, and the MP9. The first SMG is the PP1901. It has uh, sight. It has sights. Place for sights and a barrel. It, the, it has auto, fully auto, semi-automatic, and safety for its fire modes. So let's use get shooting. Now, let's move on over to the recoil test. Now, with a new magazine in and the gun in full auto, we're going to give it a recoil test. The recoil should be pretty manageable. Now, over at the spread and with a new magazine, let's test this. Next, we have the PP91. Which has safe, which has fully automatic and semi-automatic modes of fire, and does not have any spaces for attachables. Standard. So let's give it some shots. Of course, after seeing the reload.
Now let's move on over to the recoil test. Here's the recoil. And now here is the spread. Next we have the PPSH-41. It has semi and full auto modes of fire, does not have any attachment stock, and here is the reload. So let's get into this. Now over to the recoil. Here is the recoil. And now for the spread. Controllability, whatever. Next we have the Heckler & Koch MP5, which has a semi, fully auto, and burst modes of fire. It has an attachment point for a barrel stock. So let's test it. And now, over to the recoil and spread. Here is your recoil in full auto. And now you're spread with a 20 round magazine in full auto. Now, the MP5 SD is very similar to the MP5, so we'll only be taking a look at its model and reload. It has attachment points for tactical and sight, and tactical and a sight. And because it's so similar to the MP5 in performance, that is all we will be taking a look at. The last of the SMGs is the MP9. Here is its reload. It has fully automatic and semi automatic modes of fire and can take sights, tacticals, and grips. Now over to its recoil. And now to the spread. There are only three shotguns in this pack. The M870, the MP153, and the Saiga 12. First up, we have the M870, which is a six round shotgun that takes 12 gauge has an attachment for the barrel, and only has semi-auto mode. So let's shoot it. And now for the shotgun, we will not be doing the recoil test. So let's take it. Look at this reload. We will be instead moving straight on to the spread. So here's the spread. Next up, we have the MP5130, which is a semi automatic sh pump action shotgun that only takes four shells. And now, on to the spread.
Next up, we have the Saiga 12, a 5 round semi automatic shotgun that takes SB5 shotgun and SB5 magazines and it ta also takes sights and barrel attachments. Now on to the spread. And now we move on to our assault rifles, which include the, AK, the AKM, the AK-74, the AKS-74U, the AK-101, the VPO-136, ASVAL, M4A1, ASH-12, and ADAR-215. First on our list of assault rifles, we have the AKM. A, I, we all know the AK-47, so let's take a look at its reload. This particular one also has a semi-automatic mode, and it can take sights and barrels. Now to the recoil. Here is the recoil. Here is a spray. Next we have the AK-74 which can take sights and barrels and it takes 5.45 ammo in its magazines. Here is the reload. Now to the recoil. Here is your spray. Now it is the AK-74, AKS-74 U, the shortened version of the AK-74 that you can take, put barrels and sights on. Here is its reload. It has semi and full auto modes of fire. And now, let's see that reload again. Over to the recoil. Now, now we have the AK-101, the one of the newer versions of the AK. It take it can have sights and barrels. See that reload again. And now over to the recoil. Here is the recoil test. Next we have the VPO 136, a demilitarized version of the AK. It only has semi-automatic mode of fire and takes sights and barrel attachments.
It does not have fully automatic because it has been deactivated. So this is for pavilion only. Now let's take it on over to recoil and spread. Next up is one of my favorite weapons, the v the AS Val. It takes the SP5 cartridges and only accepts sight attachments. It has semi-auto and fully automatic modes of fire. See that reload again. Now over to recoil. It has nowhere near as much recoil as AK as a normal AK. Well, in fact, it is not internally exactly like an AK. Very, very controllable to shoot. Very nice weapon. Next on the list is the good old American M4A1. It has 30 round magazines, takes 30 round Stenag magazines, and has semi-automatic and fully automatic modes, taking mo the one of the more versatile ones taking sights, tacticals, and barrels. See that reload again. Now over to the recoil station. Next is the Ash 12, which takes its own magazines and it also can accept sights, grips, tacticals, and barrels. Here's the reload. It has semi and fully automatic fire modes. Let's move over to the recoil. Next is the ADAR215, a Russian version of the AR for civilian use. It has sight, sight, barrel attachments. Well, it comes with a sight stop. Take it over to recoil and spread.
now we are on to the final section of weapons, the sniper rifles, including the SKS, the SKS TAPCO, the VPO-101, the M700, the Mosin, the, o the Mosin Obras, DSS Venturas, and SVDS. The first rifle we have up is the regular SKS, which takes 10 round clips. On to the recoil. Now is the SKS Tapco, a more advanced version of the SKS that I chose to do because it takes magazines instead of clips. It can take sights, tacticals, and barrels. On to the spray. Now we have the VPO 101. Takes five round magazines and sights and barrels. Let's go view the sprays. Now we have the American M700, which did not spawn with any sights, so I had to spawn in a scope. Let's go see the spray. Next is the very famous Mosin Nagant M1891. It takes it takes straight and not 7.62 by 54 rounds. It does not have any attachments. Let's go view that spread. Now we have the cursed version of the Mosin, the Obrez. A 
is also very is also very accurate, but small enough to fit in your secondary slot. Now onto the spread. Now, now we have the initial version of the uh, AS valve, the VSS Ventores. Has does have a full auto mode. On to the recoil test. Finally, the last weapon that we have is the SVDS. It has a 10 round box magazine. It's only semi automatic, but fire weapons. On to the spray test. So that is it for this video, there are a few special weapons that we did not cover, we did not cover any attachments to, well we covered one of the sites for sniper, for one of those snipers, but if you want to check out the mod you can click down here in the description, if you would like to check out my other mod videos you can click up here, if you would like to check out the rest of my, some of my other videos you can click here. Or if you'd like to check, just check my channel out, you can click right on my face. Go ahead, subscribe, right here, right on my face. Do it. I dare you. Don't forget to like. I dare you. Click on my face. Well, anyways, see you around next time.